Hi everyone, it's Katrina. Nobody wants to walk through a spider web, but did you know that spider silk is stronger than steel and more elastic than nylon? It can even be used in bulletproof vests. From using it to fly to creating trap doors, here are 10 spiders that make the strongest webs in the world. Number 10, Ogre-Faced Spider. For those with a fear of spiders, the ogre-faced spider might seem like a terrifying critter to find in your backyard or your basement, but I promise they look scarier than they really are, unless you're a bug and they're about to eat you. These stick-like spiders have two huge eyes that are larger than the rest, giving it excellent night vision, but also making it look like an ogre. They can be found worldwide in tropical environments from Australia to Africa and the Americas. With their large black eyes and permanently angry look, these long-legged spiders catch their prey by holding a specially made web between their legs as they hang upside down then propel themselves forward. Because of this, they are also known by the appropriate name of net casting spiders. It is quite the ingenious way to target and trap their prey. First, the spider builds a trap on a uniformly colored surface, such as a leaf, under which they leave a few drops of a white substance that serves as a bullseye and will help them in their hunt. After creating this targeting system, the spiders then weave another web similar to a stretchy net that isn't exactly sticky, but it does contain many threads that are there to entangle their victims. It is more like a woolly silk that is really tough. Next, they retreat to the top of a safety line, waiting for their prey to pass underneath while they lay stretched, holding the capture net between their front legs. When the unlucky prey approaches the trap, the spider jumps into action. Literally, it stretches its net tight and plummets toward the white spots, using them as a target, where it throws the web over its prey, trapping them long enough to inject venom and wrap their victim up for mealtime. For flying insects such as moths, the spider flicks the web upwards, catching them in their net in the air. This catch net and ambush style attack is definitely a unique way for such a small garden spider to attract and capture their next meal. Number 9. The Money Spider The money spider is part of a very large family called Linifidae, which ironically has a lot of very small spiders. But what they lack in size, they make up for in impressive sheet-like webs, so they are also known as the sheet spider. Although these spiders are common, measuring in at only 5 millimeters in length, their big webs can capture big prey like many other web spinners. So why is it called the money spider, you ask? It got its name from an old belief that if you find one running on you or stuck in your hair, it had come to spin you new clothes, meaning financial good fortune. So these spiders are supposed to be good luck, so don't kill them if you see them. Still, the same cannot be said for their prey that gets deflected into their webs by guide threads above and below the web. Sheet webs are made from spun silk that is woven into a thick mat of individual strands where the spider sits and waits for its next unfortunate victim. One unique quality of the money spider is its ability to fly in the air by a method of dispersing their silk called ballooning. At certain times of the year, the spiders let out strands of silk in the air and are carried away on the wind current, which is how they get caught in people's hair in the first place. If you want a little extra luck, try spinning the spider around your head on its web before you let it go, unless you are terrified of spiders. Then you might be in trouble. Number 8. Tube Web Spiders Another species of spider with a unique web are tube web spiders from the Segestridae family. Different from other spiders who usually have eight eyes, this species only has six, and they can also be recognized because their first three pairs of legs go forward. A nocturnal variety, they build their tube webs along the bases of trees, on the ground, or sometimes in the cracks of rock walls or on the ends of broken branches. Signal threads are woven across the opening of the tubes, which work as a trip line of sorts. The spider will sit near the entrance of the tube and wait for its prey to make contact with one of the threads. Vibrations travel down the silk to the spider's sensitive feet, alerting it to an intruder, which the spider uses to determine the location of her prey. Different varieties of these spiders include Corolla spiders in the Namib Desert, who include stones, sometimes using quartz crystals, around the entrances of their tubes, which is a more precise way of signaling them to prey in a place where shifting sand might falsely alert them. 
Aren't they clever? Another species, the Segestria florentina, have iridescent green chelicerae, or appendages, which is believed to be used to attract mates, since these spiders have poor vision and rely upon vibrations and acoustics to communicate. Their webs are not just for capturing prey, though. The females lay their eggs in the web and then cover them with silk. So the next time you spot a tube web in your backyard, you might want to leave it alone, just in case it is protecting precious cargo. Plus, they can bite, which can be painful, but it is not dangerous. And now for a spider that likes to travel with us. But first, big shout out to Kan Tuan, who is a big fan, and YK, who likes it when I say bye. Thanks, guys. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe before you go and let me know your favorite spider in the comments below. Number seven, hobo spiders. Wondering how the hobo spider got its name? Would you believe it's from hitching rides with humans along the highways of the Pacific Northwest? Light to medium brown, hobo spiders have a dark stripe down the center of their backs and are an oblong shape with longer hind spinnerets, which are used to spin silk. Most measure between one to one and three quarter inches in diameter, with the males coming in slightly larger than the females. Hobo spiders are a type of funnel web spider who build an escape tunnel at the back of their webs, which, like I mentioned, are often built over deep cracks or other protected areas. They are not very good climbers, so most of them are found at ground level. Dark, moist areas are their favorite places to hang out, and they like basements, windowsills, and crawl spaces the most. Bites from a hobo spider are said to cause only mild pain and redness, but sometimes they are mistaken for the more dangerous brown recluse spider, so be careful. Their webs consist of silk spun and entangled threads and horizontal layers that are used as nests and for detection and traps for potential prey. They are known to eat insects as well as other arachnids who stumble across their webs, which trigger vibrations and alert the spider to an intruder. After they attack their prey, they consume them within the narrow end of their funnel-shaped web. But they don't use their webs for feeding alone. They are also used as a mating ground. Females usually stay within their nests while the males move around, usually from late June to October. So you might want to make sure your basement is free from clutter to avoid an infestation of this sometimes aggressive spider. Number six, bull and doily spider. Even though the web of the bull and doily spider might look beautiful and delicate, it serves a very important purpose in the life of this small spider. A member of the sheet web family that I told you about before, the bull and doily spider weaves a bowl-shaped web that sits on top of a flat sheet of lacy web that is used as a cover. The spider hides inside the bowl beneath the doily and waits for its prey to become entangled in the fragile web. Once the victim is immobilized, the spider pulls it down inside the bowl and injects its venom, which immobilizes it long enough for the spider to consume it. But this strategy isn't just for capturing its next meal. The bowl and doily allows the spider to stay protected from its own predators. And after finishing off its prey, the spider then rebuilds any damaged parts of the bowl and starts the hunting process over again. Although this might not be one of the strongest webs we've ever found, it is definitely one of the more resourceful hunting methods, one that aids this small reddish-brown spider capture food on tree leaves and in low-growing shrubs, where they can often be found. So be careful where you stick your hand. Number five. Goliath Bird Eater. Just hearing the name Goliath Bird Eater should give you an idea of how large this spider actually is. About the size of a small puppy, this is the biggest tarantula in the world, and they are found deep in the rainforests of South America. This species uses the hairs on its legs and abdomen to sense vibrations on the ground or in the air. That hissing noise you hear is the tarantula rubbing its legs together, a sound that can be heard up to 15 feet away. They sometimes also fling the loose hairs at attackers' eyes to scare them off or rear up on their hind legs in defense. This is not a spider to be messed with. The Goliath bird eater makes a silk-lined burrow in the soft, moist soil under rocks and roots. They build a circular webbing over the entrance and then the spiders lay in wait. When they sense vibrations around the entrance of their burrows, they burst out and grab their prey. They are known to aggressively defend their burrows against threats, but sometimes venomous snakes or giant centipedes, predators of the Goliath bird eater, raid their burrows, forcing the tarantula to look for a new place to take over as its new hunting burrow. Number four. Black Widow Silk The Black Widow might be one of the most feared species of spiders. It definitely has a reputation, especially for its venomous traits. But the spiders, which measure anywhere from 5 inches in females to about a third of that size for males, have more going on for them than just their bite. 
Their cobwebs are made of strong white silk, which can be found under logs, rocks, crevices, or cracks. But what's most remarkable about the Black Widow silk is the fact that the threads spun by the spiders can sometimes be several times as strong as any other known spider silk. This makes it about as durable as Kevlar, a synthetic fiber that is used in bulletproof vests. After studying the silk spun by orb spiders, scientists and biologists discovered that the drag line spiders spin and use to frame their flat circular webs stretch without breaking. A researcher in California discovered that the strands are sometimes even stronger than webs spun by orb spiders, which I'll tell you about in a bit. Black widow webs are very intricate with support scaffolding, which is a region in the middle of their cobwebs that they use to catch prey, as well as a series of silk anchor lines that hang down and snare insects as they walk by. Researchers cut pieces of the scaffold silk and mounted them on cardboard before measuring the amount of force needed to break the threads. One of the black widow webs, which are made from two different kinds of silk, was able to stretch an extra 25% of its length before breaking. A second web tested was even stronger than the first, but slightly less elastic. Known as tangle webs, these cobwebs often look like a haphazard construction, but the combination of different silks seems to lend to the strength of these webs, making black widow silk a particularly intriguing creation of these often feared arachnids. Number 3. Golden Orb Spider The golden silk spider may get some attention for its bright, vibrant color, but this species of orb spinner creates webs that are stronger than steel and tougher than Kevlar. Also known as the banana spider, the golden silk orb weaver has long legs in a brown or yellowish hue. With silk that is five times stronger than steel, tougher than Kevlar, and more flexible than nylon, the silk of the spider is actually incredibly lightweight. Usually fairly docile towards humans, the spiders don't really pose a serious threat because their venom is only mildly toxic to people. They can be found in warmer regions in Australia, Asia, and Africa. Another species, the giant silk spider, creates incredibly resistant webs that seemingly appear out of nowhere. The easiest way to determine whether you've spotted the web of another spider or the golden orb weaver is to look for webs that are a golden yellowish silk. Scientists believe webs are this color as a way to attract bees when sunlight reflects off the strands. The silk also blends into the surrounding foliage that makes it almost invisible to see, and is a perfect way to capture prey such as flies, beetles, and dragonflies. Practically unbreakable by human hands or even strong gusts of wind, fishermen around the world have even been known to use the material of the golden silk orb weaver webs to make fishing nets. A Japanese researcher is even using this tough golden silk to make violin strings. The ultimate example of how strong the silks are came in 2009 when a designer obtained the silk from more than one million spiders to create a golden robe garment using the extremely rare silk as its thread. It took four years for him to finish the garment, which was later exhibited at the American Museum of Natural History. Webs spun by these spiders can reach more than three feet wide with support strands that measure another several feet, which only adds to the golden silk orb weaver's fascinating reputation. Number two, Daddy Long Legs. Anyone who's spent any time camping in the wilderness has probably run across a daddy longlegs at one time or another. But scientists at the University of Trento in Italy found a way to inspire these spiders to produce webs that are even stronger than the ones they already spin. After spraying the spiders with carbon nanotubes and graphene flakes, scientists effectively turned them into super spiders. Spraying them with water infused with the carbon nanotubes and graphene flakes, the silk spun by the spiders afterwards was compared to control samples that were taken before the spiders were sprayed. After measuring the strength of the silk, the fibers measured well above the control webs and were even stronger than synthetic fibers such as Kevlar. Researchers weren't able to figure out how the carbon and graphene made their way into the silk after spraying them on the spiders but they do believe the spiders possibly ingested the water and that's how it made its way into the webs. So, although the initial webs spun by the daddy longlegs may not have been particularly strong, the application of the scientific method leads researchers to believe that they could possibly achieve a method of harvesting spider silk and creating stronger materials for future medicinal, manufacturing, and even public safety applications. Number 1. Darwin's Bark Spider Wondering which spider has the strongest spider web? Look no further than Darwin's bark spider. Not only is the silk of this spider large enough to span rivers, streams, and lakes, silk from the Darwin's spark spider is more than twice as tough as any pre-described silk and more than 10 times stronger than Kevlar. 
Spider silk has already been determined to be the toughest known biomaterial and is able to absorb massive amounts of energy before it breaks. But when biologists at the University of Puerto Rico discovered the spider in Madagascar, they were instantly wowed. With a wheel-shaped orb that can range up to 30 feet squared and span over streams or rivers up to 82 feet across, the giant webs snare bees, dragonflies, and other insects that fly over the water. Birds and bats have even been known to fly into these webs too. After collecting a number of adult female Darwin spark spiders, researchers raised them in greenhouses and studied the silk 24 hours after it was spun. Researchers then pulled the fibers apart and measured how much stress the strands could take before they broke. The elasticity, which is twice as elastic as the silk from other orb-weaving spiders, is a combination of lightweight and high performance. Researchers are still trying to determine whether the spiders use a different type of protein to spin their silk or if they have found a different way to spin the silk itself. Either way, the Darwin Spark Spider has the impressive title of being the spider with the strongest silk known to humans. It is now being used in human surgery to form tissue support meshes for organs and to guide regenerating nerves. Thanks for watching! Remember to let me know your favorite spider in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you would like to see more like this. See you next time! Bye!